If you're new here, I'm Sean from Envy, and today we have a great video for you. Yes. Let me say this, y'all. When I said I'm not the table, do not be confused, okay? Not meaning, y'all, that like I can't get a man, that a man wouldn't want me or something like that, y'all. When I said I'm not the table, like I realized, y'all, that's why I was crying yesterday because it's like, what could I offer a man? Genuinely, I'm talking about take looks, take coochie take a body take all that stuff off the table and at the end of the day what could i offer me i don't have nothing for you baby i really don't i got trauma i got motherfucking issues i got mental health issues i got a kid i got some motherfucking debt um i don't have nothing to offer you and who want that nobody because it's the same shit we be saying we don't want from men right and so y'all from me for me, I can't speak on other women. I can't speak on other men. This is not a relationship page. This is just therapy for me to be able to be to be vulnerable and share shit with people unedited. Because when I was making curated content in my nice ass apartment with my makeup and filters and all that shit, nobody was engaging. Oh, it's just another cute girl. She ain't fucking a rapper. She ain't on the shade room. Pass. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah. So when I say I'm not the table, cause I'm not, I'm just not. And to be honest with you, y'all, I'm not good at being in a relationship because a bitch like me just know how to use and manipulate men because I've been operating in survival for a very, very long time. And men taught me at a very young age that my body equaled survival, that I could use what I got to get what I want. I'm not blaming men for that. Cause that's the route I chose. Cause it was way easier than to go to college and sit there for four years and fucking stress. And now, I'm like, well, damn, bitch. I'm older now. I'm a little heavier now. So, hmm, maybe I should have rethought them hot girl years. Or maybe if I was going to be a hot girl, I should have had a motherfucking exit strategy. That's all. And the truth about it is, y'all, I'm hurting y'all because... I want to be love. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough, and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying, y'all, because I'm sad. I'm crying, y'all, because it's like a release right now. <laughs> but the problem for me, y'all, is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then to have a son because of those choices that I was making y'all. And I got pregnant really, really fast. I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy. And we don't talk about this shit cause it's embarrassing and it hurts. It fucking hurts. And I'm mad with me. I'm not mad at men. I'm not mad at I'm not mad at my life. I'm I'm, I'm mad at me. Cause I don't know how to fix me. I don't know how to fix it. That's that's accountability. That's the shit that hurts. It's realizing that hey, I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix. And in turn, because I don't know how to fix that shit, I'm fucking up other people around me. That's accountability. That's the shit that we don't put on social media. As my time as a creator here on YouTube, I rarely come across videos like this from women. Now, I'm not a red pill. I'm not a blue pill type of creator. I am a creator who only wants to see better for my people. And this video right here gave me a bit of hope for y'all. Y'all don't know how tired I am of hearing women say they are the table, but don't have anything to offer a man. Society has gassed a lot of women who have nothing and offer nothing to a man to assume they are the table and the prize. So it's refreshing to hear a woman actually do a self-reflection on who she really is and what she really has to offer. Most of the time, what women claim they have to offer isn't really what men even want. It's always been strange to me how women can tell men what they want in a woman. I just never understood that. And for once, men are starting to speak up for themselves and tell you that no, your degree doesn't mean anything to me if I still have to be the sole provider, 
the sole protector, the sole leader in this relationship or this marriage. How much money you make doesn't mean anything to me if I'm still expected to pay all the bills. So in this video, I respect her honesty on realizing she doesn't have much to offer a man at this point in her life. Realizing that her past trauma played a major part in how she viewed men or even how she allowed men to treat her. Realizing that the whole use what you got to get what you want mindset was only ruining her in the end. Even for a lot of today's women, if you take sex off the table, what can you really offer a man? Most men who don't have kids aren't racing to be stepfathers. To be honest, most men with kids aren't racing to raise someone else's kids. Women require for men to have no kids. Six feet, six inches, six figures. These type of women have already started walking towards the wall and it won't be long before they hit it. What's wrong with women being honest like this? It's no shame in saying, hey, I gotta level myself up. Men do it all the time. We talk so much about women hating accountability in which I still feel the majority do. I'm starting to think maybe it's in a woman's nature. But this right here is what accountability looks like. It's realizing the wrong and fixing it. She's holding herself accountable by recognizing that she's not the best person to be in a relationship with. She said it herself, all she knows how to do with the man is use him. Do you know how many women are out here moving like this knowing they're this way? All in all, she took the first step which was recognizing who she really is deep inside past the glitz and glamour and holding herself accountable. Not placing the blame on her baby daddy, her family, her friends. Because in order to have proper growth, we have to strip down all of our egos. A lot of people allow social media to boost and stroke our egos. Not knowing all that hot girl summer, boss bitch, independent woman, don't need a man rhetoric might actually sound good on TikTok. But at what cost? At the cost of actually being alone at night? Having to actually be strong and independent and struggle when you don't have to? So ladies, understand, when you say you want a man who can protect you, that also means protecting you from yourself. Stop living off these memes that try to convince you to go against your nature or who you was designed to be. And to this lady in this video, what I would say to you is, forgive yourself and continue to grow. That's all I got for this video. This is your boy Sean for Envy. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. And if all has been said, you guys stay safe, stay cool, love yourself, love each other. Peace.